for the middleweight champion. Only one defeat with one draw. He has been in 15 consecutive worlds. Right now, Canelo telling this corner that he doesn't punch us. Golovkin is, doesn't punch us. Interesting. See how short those are. Here are those right hands. And Reynoso and Canelo's corner said that's the shot. Judges, they, they remember the last part of the round. It's gonna be very difficult to score. Will it be round 13 of the first fight, or will it be round one of a different fight? With the jabs, by far his weapon in the first fight. Sit with his right glove and fires a couple more jabs. Body shot by Kill. Well, already not giving up much ground, Jim, like he did in the first fight. He's coming out being more grip. Oh, conscious of that. Normally, this is attack. Golovkin thrown a power shot. 13 to go in the round. Think Golovkin back just a little. Pins jabs upstairs. Of now there's a good one by Canelo. Tactical fight early on. But with Canelo. That's exactly what he wants, Jim. He, this is playing right into Golovkin's favor. I believe. And now he's Canelo didn't come out and start like this in the first Only fight. 10 seconds left in a tactical round. Golovkin again oh, no, no, no. snaps Canelo's head back no, with no, a jab. Ah. Maverick Carter. And now we go to round two. I titled the first round Respect. They showed enormous respect for each other. Gentlemen differs with me and gives the first round to Canelo Alvarez. Yes. Golovkin can win a tactical round. We saw in the first fight, Canelo was, had to be more aggressive continues as we go into round two. Lovkin's right eye. Yes, from the hook. Lovkin with the deep amateur in the Olympics, a dominant international. Does have the skills to control the fight. Yes, he does, but oh, oh this oh, shot. Left hook by Canelo. So Canelo landing a meaningful power shot. Still a little heavier on that front foot. It's not that Golovkin can't box in the middle of the ring. It's why he He's wants Canelo comfortable. Not giving him any ground, so he can't. Canelo back. If Canelo will back. Wait, who's the hooker here? Canelo. By far, he's got a hook to the head. But Triple G has a big hook, too. Don't get it wrong. Cut over his right eye. It looks Triple G. A good body shot. Now, our, our, our Triple G opens up and throws some power shots. Good job. Canelo wants Canelo power shots. Ducks under another shot. Oh, good shot. Canelo with a 5 to nothing A. Good hook. Left hook lands for Triple G. And another one. Two heavy-handed guys exchanging <laughs> real... Jabbing here to try to put the round away. But Canelo's landed some hard shots. In center ring as they can clearly landed more. Can't, I don't know if it's flowing, but... The run Talked to the fighter and did nothing with <laughs> giving give him too much respect because he doesn't... Golovkin can't seem to do nothing about it yet. Body shot by Canelo. He continues to lead in that category. Disciplines aggressive fighters because it's not just that he counters, he counters with he puts shock on those punches, man. Good try, Triple G. Lovkin throwing and landing more now. Ten more landed. But Canelo had success in the He's definitely more aggressive. He's leaning on his front foot. He's not backed up. Triple G hasn't really left hook missed. He's back with the second one and grazes Canelo. That's Triple it. G is letting his hands go more than in the first fall. Roy, you wonder what... Hard already, Max. He's not really used to that heaven to him. Oh, the Canelo lands some good body shot. But you see the margin by long haul. Agreed. And it's something that Triple G must have felt he needed to do more of in this fight, but he isn't doing... Canelo's winning the story of the fight so far, however you have the round scored. 
while Triple G is winning the CompuBox. Can you imagine a 29, 28, two rounds to one, Canelo Alvarez. Jim, I thought Canelo stuck stronger. Randy DeHart, if one of the judges had it going the other way, Alvarez, very, very close. A couple of attempted right hands for Godlovkin. Count. He hadn't been throwing as many as his punches clean. They tend to be straight punches. Canelo's landing the crooked punches clean. Oh, oh. Uppercut land. Amazing chin. Amazing chin, but Triple G's using a very good jab. That's giving him a little bit of an advantage. These are just dead. Look, he's got all the, and there's a body shot for Triple Z. That's what he needs. His comfortable fight. Doing a good job of winning the fight with that jab, though. Than Canelo, partially because Canelo's making it. But so far, guys, the momentum, he's not put his punches together. He has isolated moments, and then Canelo comes back and counters. It's not like it's the first round. Oh, good shot. Great body shot by a big body shot in a fight like this. The other guy comes right back with his body shot. Triple G did not a stiff jackhammer jab. Canelo's girlfriend and daughter at ringside and now we go to round five of the schedule 23 more total punches he has thrown 80 more and i think canelo has to look cut on over his i saw him working on in the corner triple g had the red spot over the right eye and now ends his jab right on the left eye of canelo. blood on his beard from that cut i mean tears away from canelo but he's getting canelo doing something he's constantly stalking him like that to change the momentum of this fight. He is fading fast. That's so far, we saw so much of in the... Canelo stayed in the center Mexico. going. Canelo and forcing said, Triple G to work. For the knockout since his camp opened, and he is fighting like he trained there. Triple G looked like he's fading a little bit, Max. He's not feeling comfortable when he's... Fighting on the... Everybody has to be careful. Good body shots. He's at him, and he banged you with two good body shots. Still the body attack, seems... But he lands his jab continuous. And it's all about it. Canelo wasn't fighting enough in the first fight. He said he hopes Canelo brings it for the fans, for boxing. Exactly what they wanted him to do, tripled throughout. And Canelo's just going to get better because he's used to fight like this, man. Good with the left hand by Canelo. Yes. And the jab is probably was cut over the left eye in two previous fights. In the fight in your eyes, Max, Harold Letterman has Golovkin up three rounds to two. The fight necessarily is that he that's what Canelo does. Back right up. hand that lands from behind, throwing as many punches in this round. Let's look over the top for Golovkin. Canelo reaching with the right hand. Left foot to the body. Hello. Okay. Triple G take before he started to break. Um, but he got to be kept head off of that. That's what Canelo's working on. Left foot to Golovkin. And Canelo back with an uppercut of his own. And Triple G saw him relax. He pretty much blocking that body for Golovkin. Man, for both of them. It's, fight though, it's not his fight. Nello who's dictating the fight. Canelo used to fight. One of the first rounds in which Canelo had edge and landed box. 17 oh. seconds to See go. See that, guys? Triple yep. G way getting hit, and Triple G is get up and used to the contact and egging Canelo on. Any time, Max, because he's not used to this stop. Canelo has had several of these kind of fights. On the monitor. Still extremely popular everywhere he goes. Harold Letterman, how did you score the first six rounds of the fight? Okay, Jim, I got it three rounds apiece. I got it all even, 50-57 fight, Jim. Uh, I gave rounds three, four, and five. Let me see. Three, four, and five to Gennady Golovkin. Okay, but uh, I thought Canelo came back and wants to tie it up. I've got Devin. Round six was a round in which Canelo landed more. Canelo, Canelo continues to throw body shots than Golovkin. To win the story of the fight, Roy, after all, a pretty in good indication to do. Max, if he outstalks, if he stalks Triple G, they're going to give Triple G this decision. I'm completely out of his game. He, brought it, he beat him acting up and had his way. Won it. This type of fight, he's forcing it way when he wants it. There's no way they're going to go. He's, he's looking for the knockout, which is a... <laughs> Clearly, to this point... <laughs> hard... Canelo willing to take a lot about Canelo Alvarez. But he said that he was going to, it's rare that before a big fight like this, says he's going to do something, what he says he's going to do. Canelo said he's going to take, even though it was Triple G most felt needed to take more fight, Canelo has taken those risks. And whether he wins or meant exactly what I thought he meant to do tonight, ain't nothing able that nobody else can do about it.
Good for that position. But he's been going. Ten seconds. Upper for Ganello. I mean, for Triple G. Triple G is used to things like that, and then walking to the neutral corner as the guy falls. Canelo adds corner and tells Triple G, hey, we're losing here. So that's the way Abel Sanchez sees it. A clear sign he's trying to motivate the open up and take more risks and hard shots in the second half of the fight. It's like I told Max, Abel Sanchez knows that the fighting, if they go to 12 rounds like this, there's no way to Triple G that decision. And for what it's worth, Harold Letterman gave the round to Golovkin. This fight that I see is that Canelo trusts his beard. He believes he can take Triple G shots to land his own. Become the hunter. The stalker. Hard right hand by Canelo. And Abel Sanchez is right. going to have to take more as his power quotient is going up from right. Better believe it. Our jab. But I and Triple G level, he's determined and dicks on right now. He's landing the punishing shots too, right, for the most part. They're both landing punishing shots. But Canelo is the guy you'd rather be. Body shots are devastating, and increasingly it looks to me like Golovkin's going to have to leave one of those iconic for us in order to win that fight. He's taking a lot of down, and you know, you, well, you might not, but in boxing it takes just... I think two things are possible, Max. Either Golovkin does not have the kind of power he had through most of his career that Canelo Alvarez brings. You take nothing away from guest Daniel Jacobs when it appears. Right hand. Hard. Canelo will, I mean, Triple G will stood the test, so let's see what happens now. No, no, more. Ten seconds. The cut opened up over Alvarez's left eye, too. Hard right, right hand for Golovkin. He needed that punch. They did. Triple G came up with more offense in that round. He took He's landing a more punches and significantly more jabs. Harold Letterman now has Golovkin sneaking ahead on his scorecard by a point. I'm surprised by that. So Triple G landed more. His punches seem to at the end of the round. Yeah, it would seem like Triple G's favor. And Abel Sanchez said he was pleased with the round. I think he was pleased because his fighter took a little bit. First round, I seen that he had control of the fight. Triple G with that stiff jab. Oh. Now lands a right hand again. Canelo comes back with his counter shots. Lands a right hand over the top. Triple G comes right back, firing with energy. Both guys looking to end this fight right now. Uh, great shots at center ring. His jab. Right hand lead for Canelo. Triple G trying to get a little. Brilliant fighters. The banger became the boxer. And Canelo takes a moment off. Shots to get Canelo in trouble of putting the work to the body. He's very tired. Actually, Canelo is making it work right now on purpose to make it to the produce wrist. a late round burst. In the first fight, it was boost the late round burst. He'd do it again and put the fight away. Career on the line. Some here and restore the leg. Only a few moves to see. Good body shots. With his own right hand. It's an Alvarez at 30 seconds to go. Big left hook for Golovkin. See, those triple G shots are starting to move Canelo a little more than they did, even as judges score blood, too. Triple G on the attack. Looking at the blunt. I can make that blow. Good to Golovkin. 10 seconds. A straight right hand lands. He got in the last shot. Yeah, he did. Another classic middleweight prize fight. I have no idea. <laughs> I got an 87, 84, six rounds to three, Gennady Golovkin. Jim, this fight is really, really close. Yeah, I've got a six to three Golovkin, but if any of the judges had it the, the opposite way, I wouldn't argue, because each round is close. I mean, they're standing in the middle of the ring banging on each other. Very, very close round. I've got it six to three, Gennady Golovkin. Andre Great. Ward against Sergey Kovalev. Ward was winning the story of the fight, even as Gulk Fighter closed the show and knocked his guy. It's so difficult to fight the score, I could very easily see a judge. These next three rounds, rounds to three, just the way Harold has Golovkin up. Six rounds. This and nobody goes down. He could go for the stoppage, but then Golovkin comes through with shots and like that. Two hard power shots. And you easily see us with another rematch with a fight number three. Let's see if Triple G still has the magic. Suddenly has Canelo standing still and momentarily in trouble. That was the most hurt Canelo has been in any moment against Gennady Golovkin. Canelo looked hurt by that, but he's firing back. He did look hurt. Lasted a few seconds. And now Can gets in a right hand. 
Triple landing Triple G again. Hard body shot by Canelo. So Triple much the story it. of the fight. Rallies when the guy's been working your body. The rally like that one. Harder to sustain since the opening round. Yes, sir. Another hard right. The, the straight right hand lands again. Canelo, that rally by Triple G that momentarily. <laughs> Is that when judges score this rally wobbled? There's a body shot. shot. Finally. Another body shot. Like it meant it. Triple G looking it. with the right hand. Really threw upstairs meantime. Good hook by Triple G. Great hook. Body shot for Canelo. What a chin on both of them. Spectacular. Gennady Golovkin appears to have won the time. Tenth round when most he needed it. way back in to the point where it looks like he could change the outcome of this fight. Yes, he has. And he's done it by taking risk. He's done it by plumb the line. But we must... There are writers at Ringo ahead in the fight. And in boxing. Meantime, the first fight was great. This one's... That he had through much of the middle of the last fight. And now he's... But not scored those uh, when he hits them the way he's hit Canelo. And G upstairs is the best punch of the fight. Yes, it is. Saved his career. Yes, it is. Career needs to win. How is Canelo coming forward throwing power shots? He's, he's real Mexican style for real. A this minute left in the round, still on the table. Triple G fighting a beautiful. This time Triple G blocked the burn at seeing. Couldn't miss or couldn't get the right hand home. In the latter part of the fight, able to land combinations and limit out, and there's a hard left Triple G. And a hard right uppercut by up another good right hand. Ten seconds to go in the 11th round. Good right hand. From Alvarez, not blocking it. Second half seemed to belong to Alvarez. Set, son. Breathe. Come on. Over the second half of this fight, Triple G has landed big power shots upstairs. Uppercut for Golovkin, knocking Alvarez's head back. He's off to a great start in the closing round. Somehow, Gennady's last three rounds. You, you, you can't say enough about G's been met like a ling his way back into this fight and rocking Canelo. Talk about big drama show. This has been a drama show. Golovkin throwing and throwing. Alvarez lands. It's a pier six brawl. They come. A minute and a half to go. Alvarez fighting as though he believes he needs a knockout. No punches, no punches. Great fighters can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Middleweight greats. Certainly the greatest middleweights of this era, much by both tonight. Less than a minute to go. Who have to love get in the middle of a... Being mid busy in the center of the room. They trade uppercuts. Left hook half lands for Alvarez. Both fighters dead tight. Exhausted on 10 seconds. Who gets the last? Golovkin with a right hand. <laughs> catch their breath after a netic closing portion of the fight. See Canelo giving a fake jab and a lead left hook right there because Canelo, I mean Triple G thought the hook, the jab was coming. He went for the jab and Canelo landed the best hook. You see Triple G coming in, throwing a good up jab that was probably one of his best straight on punches of the night. Max, I'm gonna tell you about this uppercut right here. See this uppercut Triple, Triple G lands? Yep. Watch the body shot that he missed. Triple G showing a beautiful jab right there against Canelo. Right there on that cut, missed it with the hook. But then Canelo's right, uh, overhand right, boom, right there on the eye of Triple G. So Ladies Triple G and gentlemen, after 12 toe-to-toe -to -toe rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. And here are the judges' scoring totals. Glenn Feldman scores this bout even, 114-114. Judge Dave Moretti. 
and Steve Weisfeld have it 115, 113. Your winner by majority decision and new.